Today I am talking about the Assisi Loop. This is a really simple looking product that packs a huge punch. You might have heard of these before. These were actually recommended to us by our veterinarian. That recommended, but you can buy them. Um, you can purchase them, you know, on Amazon too, or um, some pet stores carry them. So um, they're not sold exclusively by veterinarians, but this is where we heard about them. So I have the 20 centimeter, um, which is seven and a half inches, and then also the 10 centimeter, which is um, a four inch diameter. So what do these small devices do that pack such a big punch? They use targeted pulse electromagnetic field therapy and they deliver electromagnetic waves precisely tuned to stimulate an animal's natural anti-inflammatory and recovery responses. So it's a really long way, a really scientific way of saying that they um, deliver electromagnetic waves through this loop here. It transmits the waves um, and it, it aids in healing and recovery. Um, it also aids in conditions like arthritis that um, are caused by inflammation. PEMF technology, they call it, and that's the Pulse Electromagnetic Field Therapy. So PEMF technology has been FDA cleared for humans since 2010. This is not something that's new. It's not something that um, you know hasn't been researched. There's a lot of information out there on this technology. You could click the link below. Um, there are some studies and some other scientific evidence of why this actually works, what it does to your pet's body and humans, um, and how it stimulates the healing. So definitely check that out, research, educate yourself so you know why um, this is recommended and why I'm sharing this, why I choose to use it with my dogs and why you might choose to use it with your pets too. So here's one of my loops up close. This is the smaller one, the 10 centimeter or four inch uh, diameter one. So I'm going to show you, you turn on and that's it. The green lights go. Um, you're going to put this over, say like if your dog has a paw issue or something on his leg, or um, you want to get it up by his elbow or his hip if he's having problems, or um, let's say your dog's having like spinal problems, back pain, something like that. If they have a wound um, somewhere on their side or their back, you can just lay this flat on them and do it that way as well. So the lights blink so that you know that it's working. If I push it again, the lights will shut off. These loops work in 15 minute intervals and it will shut off itself after 15 minutes. Some of the clinically proven benefits include significant improvement in wound healing, a 50% reduction in opioid administration compared to a placebo group, no side effects, and a reduction in incision pain. You can learn more on the company's website, which is um, a cc.zoomedica. Dot com. So it's A S S I S I S E C dot Zometica, Z O M E D I C A dot com. Um, so you can check that out if you want some more information on that. Or again, click the link below the video to see that actual research and you don't have to just take my word for it. They're used in USDA cleared devices since the 1970s um, and PEMF therapy stimulates the natural recovery process, allowing for effective drug-free recovery right in the comfort of your own home, which is one of the things that I love the best. You don't have to take your pet into um, you know, the vet or the doctors for this treatment. You can do it right at home. So here's my Beagle Molly. She's having a little rest. Um, that's gonna be the perfect time to uh, do this treatment with your dog. Now I stuck my hand in it just a few seconds ago so you can see that it does not hurt at all. I'm gonna show you on Molly too. You know, this does not hurt her. So we can put like, say her leg through here and sit this on her hip. Um, and it doesn't bother her at all besides the fact that I just disrupted her nap. Um, it does not bother her at all. For animals experiencing pain or inflammation, the ACC Loop products employ the PEMF signal specifically tuned to stimulate the body's own natural inflammatory process, lowering pain while also helping to speed up healing. Uh, the therapy also delivers a microcurrent to damage tissue that's precisely tuned to trigger an animal's own natural anti-inflammatory process. So the electromagnetic signal, which is one one thousandth the strength of a cell phone, very, very minimal, stimulates cellular repair by upregulating the body's own production of endogenous nitric oxide. Again, all of this research is below. You can check it out for yourself. 
um, and kind of understand, help to understand it. Cause I, I don't obviously don't have the time to explain it all in a quick video. Uh, but basically that's the science behind it. There's no pain. The signal's super low. It does not hurt your dog. Um, Molly is not in any pain right now, but doing this therapy on her isn't causing any other issues. It's side effect free. You get away from those pharmaceuticals. I can't list the benefits of this enough compared to, you know, like a medical, a pharmaceutical approach to treating wounds. The ACC Loop products are available without a prescription for animals under veterinary care. Like I said, this was recommended by our veterinarian. They're effectively used in a wide range of conditions. Um, I had talked about like arthritis, bone joint and soft tissue injuries, internal inflammation, spinal and nerve disorders, um, wound care, so post-surgical recovery. So if your dog has um, like a dressing of any kind, the treatment is non-invasive and it treats through dressings, vet wraps, casts, even so say your dog broke his leg this can treat right through all of that so you don't have to worry about you know unwrapping a wound and then treating and then trying to wrap it back up it's an ideal adjunct therapy which means it can be used with other forms of treatment like medication laser treatment acupuncture even the very same day so if your dog goes in and has you know some medication at the vet's office or you have to give him medication daily you can use this treatment at the same time on the same day and there's not going to be any side effects or complications. The company does recommend that you allow two hours between treatments so your pet can receive the full benefit of each modality. So let's say that, you know, your dog has acupuncture at the vet's office in the morning. You just want to wait a couple hours before you do this at home, just so all the benefits of the acupuncture can work before you start another therapy. The company also recommends that you don't use the CC loop if you or your pet have a pacemaker or other electronic devices. Um, obviously, for obvious reasons with the electromagnetic therapy that might become an issue so you want to start with two to four 15 minute treatments per day with a rest time of at least two hours in between if it's an acute condition you're going to continue with two to four treatments a day for the first week and taper the treatment for the next seven to ten days or until the condition is fully healed if it's a chronic and or degenerative condition you're going to continue with two to four treatments per day for two to four weeks and monitor the animal until you see improved mobility and less of a pain response and then you're going to taper the treatment down to one to two treatments per day or less you should always discuss this treatment or any other treatment with your veterinarian i cannot stress that enough do not take my word for it do not take the research on your own talk to your veterinarian they will assess your pet and determine the best treatment protocol there is this clinical use guide on the company's website that um, it offers 40 step-by-step -step illustrated protocols for applying the loop to almost 300 medical conditions so it'll go to show you you know this is the signal indicator and how all of it works and then it'll talk about different this is a cognitive dysfunction and how you would use it. You can see how they put it on the dog's head like that, almost like a halo. And there's almost 300 conditions in here. This is a two-sided uh, sheet. I'm just showing you one side. So knee pain or injury and how you would do that here. Um, kind of similar to what I have with Molly where the dog's laying down and you just sort of put it on their hip. So the 10 centimeter CC loop, um, and that's the one that I have up here on Molly's chest. That's the smaller one. Um, that one is often used when treating small areas of the body, such as eyes and paws. This bigger loop that I have around her hip here, that's the 20 centimeter, and it provides a larger treatment field, obviously, and is the better choice for treating larger areas of the pet, including hips like this, um, heads like you just saw in the book there to kind of put around like a halo, or your dog's limbs. The 20 centimeter loop delivers an effective therapeutic signal to damaged tissue that's positioned within the perimeter of a barrel shaped treatment zone. So think of a barrel, how it's a little bit smaller on the top, wider in the middle, and then a little bit smaller on the bottom. So that's how it works. The effective treatment zone for the 20 centimeter loop um, extends 10 inches above and below the plane of the applicator coil. And then for the 10 centimeter, it extends five inches above and below the plane of the applicator coil. Now there are a couple of drawbacks that I wanted to mention. One being the price, obviously any kind of thing that's gonna be a medical treatment um, is going to be expensive. So I'm sure you're not expecting this to be a $10, $20 device, um, but the price tag is quite hefty. They're $329 each 
So that's not going to fit into everybody's budget. If you think about the offset cost of what the visits to the veterinarian or the medical prescriptions or whatever else you would have to treat your dog's condition, um, even if you're doing like fur arthritis, if you're doing at home treatment, so you're using, you know, supplements, you're maybe feeding a special food, you're doing um, different sorts of treatments at home, you know, think of the cost of those, some of them, you know, like wound healing. If you don't have to go back into your vet's office for um, to treat infection or any problems like that, you know, it definitely could save you money if you're if you're looking down the road like that. But certainly, three hundred twenty nine dollars is not going to fit into everybody's budget, and that um, is understandable, although not unexpected. So I I say it's a drawback, but it's certainly not something unexpected for a device that's going to um, work like this, be this simple, this user friendly, and have. Um, you know, like I said, all of those pros, you can get away from the pharmaceuticals, you have no side effects, you can use this combined with other treatments. I mean, the list goes on and on of all the pros. So I certainly think it's a good value for the money when you look at it that way. Um, but definitely, I understand that it doesn't fit into everyone's budget. And the second and the real one big drawback, I think, is that these, there's no way to recharge them. So you buy one and um, they say it offers about 150 15 minute treatments. So now, like I said um, a few minutes ago when I was talking about acute and chronic conditions, you're gonna be using those two to four treatments a day for the first week, um, two to four treatments a day for the first two to four weeks if it's a chronic condition. So you're gonna be using this frequently, you know, in the beginning especially, and there's no way to recharge it. So 150 times, you know, you might get three weeks. If it's a, a chronic, really serious condition, you might get six months or more um, if it's not. So that's something to really consider. They say that if you um, only use it for the 15 minutes and then you let it rest for at least two hours before using it again, that you're likely to get more than that, but they guarantee 150 um, 15 minute sessions. So, you know, that that's not a lot for $329. I, I know that that's a drawback for a lot of people, especially if you have a dog with a chronic condition or degenerative condition where you're going to have to be, you know, maybe buying multiple loops um, as you go. But again, kind of think about the cost and offset that with the medical care, the vet care, talk to your veterinarian, decide if this is a, a possible treatment for your dog and ask them, you know, realistically, if I had to bring my dog into the vet for treatment, you know, weekly or monthly or whatever, and I can do the loop at home instead, you know, what would the cost savings be? Because you're going to find that the cost savings is going to be a lot more than $329. So there's good things, there's bad things, but definitely um, do the research, talk to your vet. If you're thinking about this treatment for your pets, you know, I highly recommend it. It has worked for uh, our dogs for multiple things from wound care to arthritis to some recovery after a, a surgery. Our chocolate lab decided that she was going to eat something that she shouldn't and had to get that cut out of her intestines. Um, and so we use this for wound healing on her stomach after the fact. Um, and that worked really well. And she also, obviously, they have to cut through the muscle. So she had a lot of pain. Um, and we used the ACC loop and it was great. So, um, you know, for us, it works and it fits into our budget. We, we look long term for the expense. Um, and so, you know, I would recommend it. You do the same thing. Do your own research, talk to your vet um, and see what you think the best plan for your pet would be.